In this video, we talk about one question left in our week eight homework. Now, the question itself is: Write a Python program to print the following pattern. Let's see what the pattern is. So the picture shows the pattern is for line one, the star is one, have one star. For the line two, is two stars. So we can see a pattern where the numbers of stars it depends on the numbers of columns. Okay, so that's column one, column, two, column one, column two. Well, we can begin with zero and one, and that's with three or two. Okay, so that's column, and also the stars need to be progressed. So that's a line. We define as row. So there's two variable here. There's one variable is row control how this star goes, go this vertical direction, and also there's a column variable control how many stars will be generated based on the numbers of columns. This is another variable. So we define this variable as m, and this set variable as n. Now we try to figure out this the column m first. Because the m is considered as the numbers of stars, and row n is contains how many lines. We can define a function to print out how many stars based on the column of m. Then we define a function called print star, and the parameter gives the number of stars we're going to print it out. Inside the function, we're going to print stars based on the parameters m. Yeah, we change to m. Right. So we're going to print stars, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set an index. The purpose is going to we need to do a while loop, so we need to have an index to make in this loop. So index less than m. And index need to be incremental. As you can see, this kind of pattern to do a while loop, and you can iterate inside the while loop using index. Now we're going to print star at the moment. It depends on n, so we're going to create some star is empty. Okay, so that's initial starts. Then star equals to star. Plus star. Okay. So this means the star will be connected. So this should set up empty. So for the first loop, when the initial star is zero, zero plus star, then the star will become one star. And when the next loop comes, this star becomes one star. One star plus one star, there will be two star. So the numbers of stars is depends on. The number of m. That's to print star. So the star, print star at the end of the while loop. Okay, so we'll test this function. Now we say let's print one star. That'll print one star. If I print two stars, I print two stars. Okay, so we have done the first based on the column. Now the next thing is we're going to follow this pattern based on the numbers of row. Okay, number of rows. We can create another loop, which we're going to use another while loop. Now there's an index n, where n is the number of rows. As we say, we follow the same pattern. We set number n to a Let's say five initially, and index equals to zero. Follow our pattern as we mentioned before. Then we next pattern will be index equals to index plus one. Okay, for each while, what we can do, we're going to print stars because we're going to print that's index. We call this print star function in each iteration, so that when index is zero, this index become one and pass to one here. 
and print one print star will print one star. Okay, so let's see the whole result of this. Now we expect to print five rows. One, two, three, four, five. For each row, we're going to print star. Follow this sequence. Okay, so let's test that. Okay, so we remove this one. Uncode again. Yes. So one, two, three, four, five. Now there's small differences. You can see there's a space between. So that's the enter. So that's the enter key. Then we need to add at next line symbol. We can do here. So for every time we print stars, we print another line. Okay. So that's clear. Yeah, so that works. So for every iteration, we print one star, print enter, two star, print enter, and three star, print enter, four star, print enter.